Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My country, 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, we have a decent day coming, 65 to 70, once we get through the rain this morning. And once the afternoon hits, and once we're clear, I'll tell you what, the rest of the week looks great, and we're going to hit 70 maybe on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, the weekend. It's really shaping up for the next five days or so after this morning. To be really, really nice, Candy. Love this. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, uh, really good. So I promised you my uh, my Halloween uh, stories yesterday. So uh, I was all over town. But some interesting things. Um, Leah went about 10 minutes away. Like, you know, she had to be dropped off. So Dana dropped her off to a friend's house. And they were hanging out. And then they were trick-or-treating, whatever they were doing. And I get a call. Uh, I don't know, about... Let's say 7.30 in the evening. And she says, can you pick me up and bring the minivan? Oh. She says, I have a bunch of people. We're like a mile away from the girl's house that we were at. Can you drive them back? I said, sure. So so I, I bring this up because I love being known as the dad who's there. Who's oh, there that is for the kids? So cute. And I could just kiss you. She knows she can call me. She knows the kids know that uh, you know, uh, you know, Leah's dad will drive, and I like being a part of the, uh, you know, I, I like to see what's going on. I want to be the one uh, who's uh, responsible, Candy, because you know, you want to be there to see what your kids are doing, see what's going on, be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? I do. Yeah. So uh, I get called upon. I bring the minivan. I pick them all up. They're very thankful. I drive them back to the uh, girl's house. Then I uh, take Leah back to our neighborhood to drop her. uh, You know, we use the Life 360, and we get directions to where Dana and Elijah are at. And she joins them because Elijah wanted her to uh, go around with him and trick-or-treat a little bit. Oh, that's cute. And where was Abigail? Abigail was finished already trick-or-treating. She was at a friend's house at this point. It. Yes. So I drop her off to Elijah and uh, Dana in our neighborhood. Then I get a text from Abby. Can you pick me up? Which the house is just a few houses from ours. I pick her up. I bring her home. Uh, then I get another phone call from Leah. This is about a half hour later. She says, could you please come get me, mom and Elijah? It's getting really crazy out here. Like, and, and, and like, it's too much and we don't want to walk home. So I'm like, what is she talking about? Right. So let me preface this by saying our neighborhood has always been a very popular neighborhood for trick or treaters, trick or treaters and families will come from a few towns around. When my kids grew up, we had a neighborhood with literally, they would come van loads of them. Yeah. So I know exactly what you mean. We are that town. And people will park along the street, get out. And so I drive down, you know, I go around the neighborhood. I'm going down uh, roads. And Candy, I don't know what happened between me picking up Abby, going home and dropping her, and then getting the phone call from Leah. But every kid between 7th grade and 12th grade must have come out of hiding. I could not. Driving down the street, it was like trying to get through a parade. When I tell you. Oh my hundreds, goodness. wow! H- hundreds and hun- in packs, like like gangs of kids, candy. <laughs> and uh, but like scary, like I really, f- you know, like you see video of cars driving oh. through a, a a parade or driving through a protest or something. Oh and you're man! Like, oh my God! I hope they don't flip my car over. I you hope know? someone doesn't run in front of this vehicle. Out of control, like out of control. So I find them. You know, on the Life 360, I pull up to them, and, you know, they get in. Elijah throws his scooter in the in the back, and they get in the car, and they're like, oh, my God, thanks. We get, And it was crazy. Like, the town was— I can't was, stand it. Oh, it was— I can't and, stand it. I'm with you. I'm with you. And it, it was so brutal. When I tell you—I'm not exaggerating. Hundreds of kids— by the van load, by the bus load. They, I and- know. I we used to go through it, and let me tell you, it would. I would say there were thousands of them. Yes, yes, absolutely. 
and you know a lot of them not even dressed they're just out you know up to no good or whatever oh not the up to no good ones yeah <laughs> some of them look some of them are literally going door to door getting some candy whatever but it's like it was scary if i could use that word candy it you was can. a little you know i saw the kids in the neighborhood going around not packs of them like you have yeah. but uh, i was like i'm so glad they have no way of contacting me yeah <laughs> Ah. I have no bell. I'm on the second floor. I'm um, never here. You know how they say, like, you know, when you go out to a club or whatever, nothing good happens after midnight. You know, you my father just... used to say nothing good happens after ten thirty at night. <laughs> there you go. And I always had to go home by ten thirty. Oh, I will tell you on Halloween, nothing good happens after eight o'clock at night, kid. I nothing. believe that. Oh my God! It was uh, the little crazy. ones. They're cute. I don't mind them, but when right. you start getting like the high school kids, it's enough. Go so, home. all right, I said to uh, Elijah because I didn't want to ruin his time. I said, Elijah, I just want to explain to you the little kids, the babies, the toddlers. You, you know, you, you know, elementary school. I said it's cute. You're in, you know, costumes and it's cute, and you're getting some candy. And most of those kids are off the street by seven, seven thirty. Absolutely, if not earlier. Right. It's the older kids, the packs and packs of the kids. up to no good kids. <laughs> That should be a Taylor Swift song. I like that. Yeah. Be up to no good kids. So anyway, that was my uh, my Halloween yesterday. Well, did you get any candy? That's that's the thing. Yeah. Now I have to try to stay away from it for, you know, a couple months Very here. Very difficult, I hear yeah, you. It is. Uh, Do they we, share nicely? Do they like, give you candy? Yeah, yeah. Elijah came home with full-size bars of Hershey what? and Kit Kats. And, yeah. What house was that? Yeah, there's some people who are doing the right oh, thing, Candy. Like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. We used to make a major announcement. That house has full candy bars. Oh, that's... Well, yeah. so what Dana says to me, you know, we went up to one house and a girl coming off the porch said, oh, they don't have any candy, but we went up to it anyway, and they had tons of candy. Oh, so, dare that child. Kids are lying now about the candy. Lying and up to no good. That's what we've learned from Halloween today. Unbelievable. All right. Uh, rain going away by this afternoon, and then the rest of the week looks great. The rest of the week is going to be close to 70, and no precipitation uh, going through into the weekend. So enjoy it once this rain goes. We are less than 20 minutes to your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.